I said, I've seen enough online and taken immediate action to remove Ava from the company, my channel, and any association with Mr. Beast. Hold up. <laughs> For one, why do you refer to himself in third person? Pretty much because he's a business, right? Okay. Well, after we solve that, did Ava quit or did you fire him? <laughs> Seeming like mixed messages now. This is a story of boy meets girl, but you should know up front, this is not a love story. What's going on, guys? Today, we're going to talk about the whole Chris Tyson and Mr. B situation. If you haven't checked my previous video speaking about it, please check that out so you can have more information. But to put it in you know, a short version, Chris Tyson has been exposed for having inappropriate DMs with minors and inviting them to private meetups and sending them provocative pictures and also calling him daddy, among other things. She was wildin' out here going crazy, fam. I think that it was an extreme abuse of power, especially due to the fact that the children were fans, right? Then they also were children and didn't know any better, fam. So let's just take a look at what Mr. Beast had to say. Recently, Chris said that they were quitting. Yeah. That they were stepping down and, and that was after they deleted a bunch of stuff off their social media and scrubbed the heck out of it. Let's take a look at what Mr. Beast has to say, because people have been pretty much begging for a response to see, you know, what do you have to say to all of this? Are you vouching for them? Are you backing them? Last time when they were called out or every time I should say they've been called out, Mr. Beast was the first one to go out and fight in their honor, metaphorically. Now let's, let's see if he's still willing to do that. Over the last few days, I've become aware of the serious allegations of Ava Tyson behavior online and I'm disgusted and opposed to such unacceptable acts. Okay. He's singing a different tune. Um, it's probably because all the huge amounts of backlash. During that time, I have been focused on hiring an independent third party to conduct a thorough investigation to ensure I have all the facts. I mean, that's good to get all the information for sure. But Ava did come out and admit to a lot of things. A lot of things. Right? They didn't blatantly say anything crazy like I'm a P word or anything like that. But... They did admit to some inappropriate conversations, right? And they were out of pocket. Let's see, what else did he say? Uh, that said, uh, okay. That said, I've seen enough online and taken immediate action to remove Ava from the company, my channel, and any association with Mr. Beast. Hold up. <laughs> For one, why do you refer to himself in third person? Pretty much because he's a business, right? Okay. Well, after we solve that, did Ava quit or did you fire them? <laughs> Seeming like mixed messages now. Did they quit or did you remove them from all things? It seems like somebody's being extremely dishonest and I don't like it. Now, I don't know if it's Ava or Mr. Beast, but mm, it just seems really funny. Extremely funny, if I'm going to be honest. Like, it, it doesn't sit well with me, right? There's two conflicting stories. I will allow the independent investigators the necessary time to conduct a comprehensive investigation and will take any further actions based on their findings. Well, you already fired them or I should say removed them. So if they go and look and you don't find anything, you're going to hire them back? I would say there's enough already. I wouldn't feel comfortable working with them, but that's just a personal choice. I wouldn't feel comfortable with them doing all the provocative things and sending messages and trying to plan meetups. And it was just weird, man. It was extremely cringe. It was beyond cringe. I'm, I'm just going to say it was nasty and it was beyond inappropriate. I'm not the guy that's going to be quick to call somebody P word or throw that jacket on someone. What I will say is this don't look right. And if I did find out that Ava was a P word based off of what I seen, I would not be surprised. 
right? I, I wouldn't be surprised even a little bit at all. And I'm not trying to just throw that jacket out there. The signs of just clearly something's not right is there, 100%. And I also want to state, Ava is not a representation for all people within the alphabet community, right? I've been seeing that go around out there. I don't think that's true necessarily, right? I, I think that that's like a little bit of a reach, right? Like, let's realize that people are individuals. I'm not a representation for all black people or people from the Bronx, right? And vice versa. So if someone else do something, they're a representation of me. No, I don't think that's fair. But overall, I do believe that this was nasty. <laughs> I do believe that it's not cancel culture for Mr. Beast to remove Ava from all Mr. Beast related things. I think that what they was doing was extremely inappropriate and it does deserve consequences. Like you have to have more responsibility to not only your fans, but just in general, just more responsibility as a content creator, someone who has a position where you have a following and, and you're a public figure and people actually listen to what you have to say. Sometimes they might even admire you. I don't think you should use that to, to have inappropriate relationships with anyone, um, let alone children. Of course, if you are grown adults, right? Like I don't care if you meet up with someone as an adult, if you both are willing to engage in that type of situation of a meetup, but you hitting up kids and planning up meetups, that's crazy. The person did come out and say that, well, one of the alleged victims did come out and say their family was there during um, the first meetup. I still don't feel comfortable with the, the DMs that were sent, as well as them sending like nasty pictures. Yo, Chris, my bad, Ava had people trying to pay for their Patreon so they could release nasty pictures on there. I don't think there's any way that would be appropriate for a kid in any way, shape, or form. But that's my opinion. Tell me what yours is down in the comment section. Hit the like button. Share the video as well. Nasty world. Nasty world. Hey, guys. Hope you enjoyed watching the video. Now, if you have some extra time, can you do me a favor? Check out my music. I rap, I sing, and I make beats. All of that should be linked in the description. Also, if you want to watch me live stream, you can check me out on BX Beast Boy Live. That's another YouTube channel. It should be linked to my homepage. And you can check me out on Twitch and Rumble. I'm streaming on all these platforms, man. Trying to just get out there. Also, if you want to support me, you can sign up for my memberships on my channel, as well as my Patreon for as low as $1. You get exclusive access to a bunch of videos early before you even get it on YouTube, as well as videos that's not ever going to be on YouTube, stuff that actually got me suspended and banned. It's, it's kind of my anti-cancel culture fun for BX Beast Boy. You know what I mean? And it also helps me get resources for certain video essays and things of that nature. Check that out if you're able to. Follow me on Twitter, follow me on Instagram, and join my Discord if you are able to, man. The link should be somewhere within my description or somewhere on my channel. I would really love to see you there, man. That's where you get a chance to talk to me and the rest of my supporters, man. I appreciate you guys. Bang, gang, out.